Well, gun violence on the rise, not only here in Portland, but also in Gresham. And the chief of police there speaking up tonight after a weekend of extreme violence. Take a look at this map showing five reported shootings that happened from Friday night to Monday morning with police recovering hundreds of bullet casings. We sent Elise Haas to Gresham to go beyond the headlines tonight to find out how police in the community are responding to all this. Elise? Well, Jeff, when I was going throughout town today, I could really tell when I was asking people about it that it was top of mind because it is something that is starting to affect everyday lives. And at this point, community members and the police are trying to find ways to stop it. We did hear all the shots. We counted roughly 30 and saw two people running into our doorway, huddled down for their lives, scared. Owner and artist Bill Jersey at Equinox Tattoo in downtown Gresham relays the surveillance video of a shooting right outside his shop at nine at night over the weekend. As these two people hide, a series of gunshots were striking the diner right next door. And nobody has a name. Nobody knows who did this. Jersey preferred to keep his face off camera, but after five major shootings in Gresham this weekend, he said he and his wife want to take action and form a neighborhood watch with video surveillance. Just something to kind of so we can all keep each other in the loop and try to keep each other safe. I take this very seriously, right? This is my community. I don't want my community to experience this violence. Gresham police say they recovered nearly 200 bullet casings over the weekend with at least two people injured. In one incidence, there was 111 casings. That's very unusual. That means multiple weapons, multiple firing of rounds, multiple types of rounds. That's, it's dangerous. The Gresham police chief says people are shooting up houses and cars. As a result, restaurants and coffee shops ended up as collateral damage. We are focused. We are going to be there. We are going to do the work that needs to get done to hold people accountable. And we're going to work collaboratively with our community and all of our partners to prevent violence. The chief says they need all the help they can get from witnesses, something local business owners can back. If there is something we see, we can say something because people aren't saying anything. And one day it's going to be someone you know or love. And the police chief tells me that they are working very closely with their community partners to help at-risk youth and make sure and prevent them from getting into this cycle of violence. But at the same time, they're also working very closely with the law enforcement throughout the Portland metro area to track down and arrest these shooters. But they are also asking for the community's help. Be a good witness. If you have any information, if you saw anything, or if you have video surveillance that captures these shootings, then they're asking you to send it to them. The best way to do that is through the My Gresham app. Live in Gresham tonight, Jeff Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. All right.